the same thoughts. Uh, myself, I'm not in favor of uh, amalgamation at this time. Uh, I think working together with the pool projects and mutual aid, we've proven we can work together. The costing, I'm sure our tax rate would go up. Um, the equipment we have, we would go to other places that don't have as good. Uh, we need to know more about it to be in favor of it, but at this time, I don't think it's a viable option. Thank you. Um, amalgamation is a very touchy subject for most. I'm not for or against it. I think that it needs to be looked at so that it's geographically possible, so that we're not driving equipment from one end of the country, or one end of the district to the other. For instance, if we're in Carling and we have a snowplow that we have to plow the road in Rosso, it's not feasibly possible. Um, I would ensure the McDougal rate period ratepayers are protected through the whole the whole amalgamation if it actually did come. Thank you. Thank you. Well, amalgamation can't go two ways. It can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. At this point, I would rather not see an amalgamation. There are areas in Ontario where amalgamation took place where data was taken using financial information returns published by the Ontario Municipal Affairs and Housing, where they compared various financial indicators, trends to, uh, to several municipalities that were not amalgamated. Simple analysis uh, suggested amalgamation did not result in cost savings or lower property taxes. A matter of fact, they found increases in property taxes because of compensation for, for new simple employees and long-term debt in the amalgamated communities. At present, the municipality of McDougal has very low debt. Do we want to amalgamate with areas that have large debt, inadequate service to find out that our taxes and our debt are going up in order to accommodate these other debt? If we are forced to amalgamate, then I would want to make darn sure that there is also compensation and choices. My dad always told me, son, if it ain't broke, leave it alone. Thank you. My position on amalgamation is based on being a taxpayer and a municipal employee. And at this time, I'm not in favor of it. I feel that the McDougal taxpayers' money will be taken away from McDougal and used in other areas. I also feel our level of service will drop as it will be spread out over a larger area. Now, all the surrounding areas right now have different levels of maintenance, so it's going to be hard to set a uniform standard for everybody. And I feel McDougal's priorities may be overlooked by the other municipalities, especially if Say the town is the head of it, that's going to be their priority. And after seeing and hearing about amalgamation in other areas, what I've seen happen is the municipality that was free and clear with the good equipment, it gets drawn into the municipality that was lower or in debt and had the worst uh, equipment. I feel it needs to be a well-researched idea before taking anything on. But I support partnering projects with the surrounding municipalities and growth in the area. Thank you. conversations with our surrounding municipalities and have a discussion about the various ways that amalgamation could happen. Do we want a two-tiered system with a regional and local representation? Maybe a ward system would be better for our area. Uh, the trouble is it's not an easy discussions to have. Everyone has their own personal interests, but I'd rather be proactive and be prepared rather than wait for the provincial government to 
mandate us to be one or to be part of one. Thank you. Do I support amalgamation? Heck no. I'm absolutely 100% against amalgamation. When someone talks to you about amalgamation, you should think, that person wants my money. They want your tax dollars to fix their problems. That's not what we should be doing with our tax dollars. We need to keep our tax dollars in the Google. We've done extremely well operating that way. That doesn't mean we don't work with our neighbors. We work extremely well with our neighbors. If you look at the Perry Sound Library, the District Museum, the work we're doing right now in the community pool, the DSAB, the list is endless of how much sharing we do. We McDougal contributed hugely to the construction costs of the Westbury Sound Health Center. I see Reeves Spadinsky just walked in the room back there a little bit earlier, and he was instrumental in that part. But we carry our weight in McDougal. We can stand proud for what we do. But we don't need to amalgamate and have someone else take our money. Our representation, instead of having five counselors you can go to, you're going to have one representing you. It's not the way to go. You want an example of how amalgamation doesn't work? Look at our school board. Amalgamated West Perry Sound with North Bay. What happened? They took our money. They started closing our schools. We don't need that in Macdougal. So I'm absolutely against amalgamation, but I'm all for sharing with our neighboring communities. Thank you. Okay, that's going to be tough to follow. I believe the best communities are built in the spirit of collaboration. I know that there are many joint committees, and ongoing collaborations happening right now. The pool is a good example of that. In the immediate future, I would like to see our local area councils working together to increase our area's visibility and take more of an advocacy role for funding for projects for our area. Delegation meetings at AMO and Roma conferences provide an opportunity for members of our councils to meet with government ministers and officials to discuss the local uh, issues affecting all of you. Municipal governance has and continues to be the single most debilitating issue in West Perry Sound. Think about it. We have 45 elected politicians, governing less than 20,000 year-round residents, and close to 80,000 seasonal residents. The City of Toronto has 25, looking after 3 million in all the infrastructure. Let's be honest though, amalgamation is a scary word. In some times, it could be a campaign killer, right? Following that speech. Um, however, I've been out knocking on doors all summer. For the last couple of months, I recognize a lot of your faces. And I will say that I'm getting a real sense in our community that there's a wish to have the discussions. Um, I'm also repeatedly hearing that this is where the province is taking us, but I do feel like it's going to be up to us municipalities to start those conversations if we want to have them. In short, communities don't stop at, at um, township lines. We're already one community, so it just becomes a matter of what makes good business sense. on allowing multiple dwellings on single properties such as garages with living accommodations on top or bunkies with kitchens etc for year-round use and you have 60 seconds. 